Hey, welcome back everybody. And today we're addressing a topic that's become increasingly critical for pilots at all levels and experience. It's the use of the phrase, please expedite from ATC. We've talked to our friends at the FISDO as well as various flight instructors. And there's a consensus that this is an issue that needs more attention. It's not just rookies that are falling into this trap either. Even seasoned pilots are occasionally getting it wrong. Let's explore this a little bit further. Welcome back pilots and today we're discussing a critical aspect of your daily operations, the instructions given by air traffic control and specifically the phrase please expedite. We've been hearing more and more how this is confusing to pilots, not just new pilots, even some senior pilots. Today we're going to talk about the situation, different examples and things you can do to never fall victim to this particular uh, situation. So the command please expedite can sometimes lead to confusion, particularly in high pressure situations. Now, all you have to do is watch YouTube, read some of the current reports that have come out, or if you're like us and you have access to people inside of ATC, hearing about pilot deviations, what trends are going on and things. And I can tell you that I've personally watched a pilot fall victim to this as I was in the right seat of, of an aircraft. Now, my goal in this video is to wire a mental alarm in your brain so when you catch this phrase come up in the future, it'll ring back to this very moment and you'll be geared up with our tactics like a pro. Now, the instruction, please expedite from ATC, means that the pilot should speed up or increase the pace of the current action that they're performing, or at least the last clearance that they received. This could be things like uh, taxiing, you know, you wanna speed up the taxiing to a position or speed up crossing a runway could be departure. If already cleared for takeoff, begin takeoff, roll a little bit more promptly. Now, in most cases, ATC will say take off without delay. But if you've already been cleared for takeoff and you're sitting on the runway, they might say, please expedite. How about crossing or descending? Increase the rate of climb and descent to reach a specific altitude more quickly. Now, we got a whole video on unable and things like that, safety issues you can talk about on a different video. Let's interrupt the topic of please expedite for just a minute and talk about the term unable. We have a whole lesson on this, so make sure you go check that out. Don't be afraid to use the term unable. In aviation, clarity and precision in communications can mean the difference between a routine flight and a critical situation. The term unable is your straightforward way of telling air traffic control that you cannot comply with their instructions for any reason. Here's why and when it's perfectly okay to do it. Number one, safety first. If complying with an ATC instruction would compromise safety, unable is your go-to response. Maybe you're asked to make a right turn for spacing, but your aircraft performance or your current configuration does not allow for that with undue risk. Here, unable clearly communicates your limitation. How about operational constraints? Sometimes a request might be beyond your aircraft's capabilities or current configuration. For instance, if you're asked to climb to an altitude that's above your service ceiling or too rapid of a descent when you're already low on fuel, unable informs ATC this isn't feasible. Could be pilot workload. I've had this in a high workload situation like managing an unexpected situation or navigating through adverse weather. If ATC asks to change your heading altitude and you're already on your limitation of multitasking, unable helps manage your workload safety. How about legal or regulatory? There might be a situation where complying would put you in a violation of aviation regulations or your own company policies. If ATC asks you to do something that isn't within these bounds, unable is your legal and professional out. Could be non-standard request. Occasionally ATC might propose something out of the ordinary for traffic management or expedience. If it catches you off guard or you're not prepared for it, like an instant short approach when you're already set up for a standard pattern, unable gives you the space to negotiate or decline. Remember, using unable isn't about being uncooperative. It's about maintaining safety and clarity. When you say unable, follow up with a reason if possible or what you can do instead. That helps ATC find an alternative situation quickly. Let's jump back in. Or how about approaching? Speed up the approach to landing if already on the final approach. Now it does not mean automatically proceed to the next step or phase of flight operations unless that current clearance or instruction is being expedited. So the misinterpretation is some pilots may think expedite means rush to take off or move to the next step. 
The correct interpretation is expedite the task you are currently executing. To avoid confusion, incorporate some of these tools and processes to help avoid being victim to this situation. A quick and easy way is when you are often given, uh, please expedite, simply let it be a trigger. Please expedite, okay, what's the last instruction? And that's what I would go do. Immediate confirmation could just be uh, always read back the instructions. For example, expedite crossing runway A, holding short of runway B. That's one psychological or cognitive way that you can trigger yourself because you're saying back what you're already given. Use of your checklist or you know, if it's a kneeboard, checklist, iPad, whatever it is, and you're writing down your taxi clearances as you're on the ground, when you hear please expedite, just look right down what was your last uh, clearance that you've given. Review that and then that is it. Another way, which is kind of what we just talked about a little bit ago, is just verbalize your actions. Speak out loud to the co-pilot what you're doing and what you're about to do next. This verbal confirmation can prevent missteps. Mindset shift. Train your brain to think about expedite as speed up what you're doing now and not the next step. You know, in real-time operations, clarity and precision are key. Remember, air traffic controllers use expedite for efficiency and safety, not to confuse or rush you into the next step. You know, maybe the FAA should make some updates to this particular term. Could be, maybe uh, ATC should read that. Uh, when they say, please expedite, maybe the clearance they give you, that's not always practical. And the reality is, is us as pilots, we're responsible for that safe operation. But discuss these scenarios in your briefings, share experiences and learn from each other. Every pilot's understanding contributes to the collective safety of our skies, of course. By understanding and correctly responding to please expedite, we enhance our professionalism and the safety to our flights. Now I do wanna ask you guys, there's one more tip. Please go below, make a comment, and let us know your thoughts about this topic. Have you seen it? What would you do? Have you been victim to this? And please like and subscribe and hit the bell because it's the only way to tell us that you wanna hear more of these quick table talks, the, all this content from myself and our other experts, but more importantly is it lets YouTube know that you wanna see this kind of stuff. So. Please do that and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.